Okay, let's talk about the last part of the software when you prepare your scene, that is export. Before export, if you click on export, you can export image, video, panorama, 360 images, pedestrian, it means <coughs> you can export exe file and give to uh, others and they are exploring your file. And you can export in a cloud. Before exporting, you can see all of this image, video, and other things are gray out because they are empty. Before, you have to go to the media, and in the media, you can prepare your image, prepare your video, prepare your sequence that I explain it in the next lesson, prepare panorama or a panorama set, pedestrian, and the phasing mode that is interesting. I will explain it later. First, begin with the image. It tells you click here to create your face image. Before creating, you have to go to the view that you want, move navigation, and then plus. <clears throat> this image will be create, and then you can export it. If you going uh, to the media, we are going to the media mode, and everything, the UI color, uh, turn to red. It means we are in exporting mode. You can exit the media, quit media mode with here. Okay, and again, click on the media, click on this image, <clears throat> and it's automatically come to media. Okay, let's turn the, go into the media again, and this is an image. It's very simple. This, you can export it, this image. But in this image, uh, we have some settings. Image number one, with these three dots, you can rename it, you can delete it, or you can copy ambience. This ambience has environment, camera, render, fx, and uh, image setting. This tab will be uh, add when you are selecting the image. Or uh, media preview, it's interesting media preview. As you can see, it gives you a camera that you can move your camera by your hand if you want. But from here, you can make it a lower quality, high quality, lock it or close it again. Simple. You can uh, rename it and copy instance. For example, um, you change all of the settings and you create a new image and you want to copy all of the settings to new image. You can copy and then paste to other image. So it's very simple. If you want to refresh it, means for example, changing a little bit camera and then you have to uh, go in your mouse over that and just refresh, it will be refresh here. If you select it, you have to come to the ambience and select the image and here it's an image settings. This is an output size. You can change output size any K that you want or make it a custom and type any number. <clears throat> you want uh, with a tile rendering if you click that uh, with a tile rendering you can go over 64 um, K re resolution and it's rendering it for you you have to test it then if you want to the higher K so from here you can ch choose uh, any full HD any K Resolution that you want. It's not about tiled rendering. And this is, and if you want to, um, for example, come here <clears throat> and add another image here. Interesting part of that is you can go to the ambience and, for example, change the timing. Something like that, for example. You can see if you go and come here change you can see if you come here we have another timing so with these images another <clears throat> usage of the images that you can store your ambient sitting on these images from come here and then choose and move very simple this is another usage of image so from here then i want to export image going to the export and as you can see the image will be turned on and you have to click on this plus and choose one of these images that you want to export or select art. These images are in a real time, but if you go to the ambience 
and go to render and for example make these two global illumination to lumen <coughs> or change the real time to the past recent and create another image it, it change turn to the uh, you have to quick media mode <coughs> then go into the ambience and uh, click on a lumen to change the it does not uh, uh, pro provide high quality it, do not, it does not act because I change the quality to medium you have to change the quality to the high or to low to activate this if you are active to the lumen or to the pastor and create an image when you go into the export settings for example as you can see we don't have any pasteurizer we don't have any lumen but these two are real time you can select all and just click anywhere you can see we are in the image and if you click on the image uh, you can change the format png jpeg or xr go into the detail if you have a motion blur flag or in a bean or something are running you have to turn on the motion blur it's create for automatically create a motion blur if you have uh, flag or anything you can activate motion blur it gives you a blur at the edges of the object it's very simple and now it's the time to um, give uh, tell you what is the layer here um, let's create an image for example on this for example <clears throat> I create a plus create this image go into the layer and deselect quit go into select this and from the layer ID choose enable and layer one this tree is a layer one with mask and then you can export with mask and change it in the Photoshop select for example this wall if you want enable layer ID and choose layer if it's any object that you selected in its properties you can find layer ID or this landscape layer ID tree you can export five uh, layer <coughs> order in the scene and then you can go to export and you can see in this image that we selected this image we selected in export we have a sky layer number two layer number three here you can select them and export them with a mask and you can open it in the photoshop okay export as a mask refinement is off uh, or low medium high uh, it's calculate the range of the reflection in your scene i prefer i suggest you to turn it off in a in uh, exterior scene because it's calculate lots of reflection at the far for example at the window at the back of this house that we don't need and it take a lot of resources but if you are in interior mode turn it on okay and it, uh, it's very simple tree mode it's uh, i it's created 3d object to you that you have to see in a special glasses special screen if you want to create 3d mode you can uh, actually a, a stereoscopic 3d view that you can activate it i explained it before all of these settings in a uh, old my old playlist of twin motion but i explained it again because the emotion has changed its UI very changing very much okay these are image and after that you have to come here and uh, start export and then you have to give it a selected folder and then it will be uh, exporting for you <clears throat> okay let's go to the video for a video we have uh, to animate our camera for example i want to come from here and create here to first video this is our first video okay it has a timeline and then uh, the second frame is this i move my camera here i want to zoom to the, this part and then click on this add 
What happens if you click and drag this indicator? You can see we move the camera with an animation. At any time, you can add keyframe here. For example, after that, you want to move the camera in this direction. This is a video part number two. For example, uh, after this, <clears throat> I want to go up and create another video here. So for that, for, 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 from here, you can go to the first frame, go to the last frame. Here you can enable or disable loop playback. It's playing, you can see, with the, this timing of here, you can change the timing of that. For example, I want to make this happen faster. If you turn it off, you're looping and looping and looping. If you want to go it faster, you have to come here it click and change the timing. If you give a longer number of the second, so it's it's very clear, it's going fast. <clears throat> nice. And we have a sitting here. It means if you click the sitting, it's go to the sitting of video. This is a sitting of the video. These three dots, you have a single ambience, start at a single ambience means if you go to the sitting and for example, uh, change the environment <clears throat> timing, environment timing, all of this uh, start and end will be ch changed at once. But if you make it to the start and end, and you can see we have an start and end. For example, in a start, we have in this time of day at the end, <clears throat> I want to change update something like that. And if you uh, play you can see the timing are changing to the end of that be careful about the timing that uh, <clears throat> does not change it very much uh, or if you want to you can make it and get another single ambience and uh, again single ambience so this <clears throat> ambience of uh, this is, is different you can select it and copy ambience and again paste ambience on this. Now at the start and then we have the same ambience settings. Ambience means environment, camera, render, FX, anything that you want. Explained before, you can <coughs> change it at any frame that you want. This button is creating another part of the video. Another part of video, as I said before. <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, for example, you come here and refresh it to set the uh, keyframe here then changing your camera view and add it here now we have an animation with uh, four seconds and now you can play it it's playing <clears throat> the video from part one and then cut to the part two and here you can collapse the parts now we can see we have collapsed the part that you can click and drag and change the position of the parts. This is an, we have one video that has two parts. And uh, as you can see, if co uh, come from one part to the one part, it suddenly jump. And if you collapse them, you can expand them. You can find the keyframe of that or you can collapse them. In between them, you can click on these and trans change the transition fade to black or fade to the white. Look at here, if, you, if, if it, re, it reached the end of this clip, it will be turned to the black and go to the next part. Nice. And if you select the video here, you can see this is an image. This is a video. In the video number one, if you click it, we have two parts. In the video number one, we have two parts. Any part of that, you can change the sitting of that which resolution do you want width and height and in the detail you can tile render and you can assign the fuzzing to the, this video that uh, i will be explaining it later if you come back to the video and in this video you have rename or simple setting go into the video <clears throat> the video settings just we have tile rendering and change uh, resolution of that settings okay if you go to parts, you can expand them, click. Again, we have a simple setting of the video. <clears throat>
that's it for exporting that going again to the export we have two image close the image and now we are in a video if you click plus on a video you can see we are video number one and select it this is our video number one we have lots of sitting and export you can export in mp4 png it means it's <clears throat> we have a sequence here for example uh, fps frame per second in one second we have 30 frames and it's exported the frames in png for you or exr and after that you have to um, merge them in adobe premiere or adobe after effect for you frame rate you can cho choose a frame rate higher number frame rate we have more smoother, uh, smoother animation or you can activate custom frame rate in the detail in the detail if you want to export that part that parts for example video number one has two parts you can uh, export that part individually you can activate motion blur if you want again render layers it's very interesting in the video you can uh, export render layers make sure that you are in a mp4 or exr if you want to activate the render layers <clears throat> Now you can see the render layers are turned off in MP4. In a PNG, uh, we have that render layers. Another interesting part that is you can export a video in a standard 3D or 360 videos. And I export it and show you. Uh, or 3D, uh, 3D 160 video with a 3D. It's very interesting or a standard. Again, refinement, and if you go to the 360, you can choose 8K, for example, for better quality of that. Okay, let's show you a 360 video. Okay, this is my 360 video in a pot player. For uh, doing that, you have to activate 360 and enable it. Now you can see this is a video is going uh, to the this part and you can move at any part that you want you can use path layer and you can go to the any view that you want interesting 